Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of this console RPG we're making. Uh, it's been a while, so I don't really remember where we were at, but uh, what we can do is just make some loading and saving for characters and change a few things right here. So I already started making a few changes. Uh, I added some new switch case statements here for our loading and our saving, so uh, we'll just add a new, some new menu uh, menu options here. So we'll say 6 and 7. Now, I thought a little bit about this. So saving and loading. Saving is the easy part. Loading will be a little more tedious. So I thought maybe I'll save loading for the next video. But at least we'll make a new character and we'll save all these characters. And instead of one character here, we'll have a bunch of characters. And uh, I just want you to start by changing this. Adding these two new uh, menu options here with the switch case. Uh, so these these uh, two new cases right here, six and seven. So what we'll do is we'll say uh, create new character, and we'll say save characters. So we're gonna have to make a few fundamental changes right here. Um, instead of our character here, you need to include vector. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep a vector of characters. It's a dynamic array, just like the one we made for inventory. Just it's uh, already created in C++ for us to use. So we don't have to do a bunch of extra stuff. So characters, we'll call it characters since we have multiple characters right now. And the thing is that we, since we have many, we need one that is active. We'll call it active char character, maybe? Why not? Active character. And we'll initialize that up here equals zero to start with and we're gonna need a file name as well for all the saving and stuff so string file file name just like that file name equals just call it characters dot txt for easy opening otherwise if you whatever you do here uh, even if you don't have a suffix what do you call it it's going to it's going to save the file, but it's not going to be default open by a text editor. So you're just going to have to go in and open with, but it'll still work. So you don't have to worry about that. And uh, initialize game. This is going to change. All this is going to change. What you need to do right now is you need to go in your characters .h and your character .cpp and create a new function called get as string. Now I already did this because it's it's kind of tedious. So just go in, pause the video add this and add this and what this does is it takes all of your attributes and it sends it out as a long uh, string basically um, with a the name and all that stuff and it makes everything to string as well and it's a really expensive operation to string but still you can use it just in this case because we're not going to be doing it all the time uh, now everything's going to complain up here characters we can just leave this for now uh, as well as this actually we can do this characters dot active character dot print stats now six is going to be create new character and seven is going to be save characters we can do an eight as well for loading just in case because we'll still do that later load characters now in game now assuming you already did this in character uh, the function we need to uh, the get a string then we'll just go in here in game dot h and we're gonna make three new functions we're gonna make one create new character we'll make a new save and load save and then load characters and what you need as well in character actually not in character uh, you take game your game and you include fstream in here. This is for file input op operations and uh, we're gonna be working a little with that here so you'll get a little bit of a tutorial on that if you haven't worked with that as well as vector. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about that as I as I go ahead. But let's start with create new character. Now as you remember we made a vector. If you haven't worked with vectors basically you make a dynamic array, a big box with a undefined number of smaller boxes inside. Of course it starts at, at zero uh, it doesn't have any size yet. 
it, it's going to hold characters and it has the name characters identifier characters so what's going to happen when you add characters you use a function called pushback so it's going to push at the end of the vector it's going to add another new character and it's going to keep doing that as, as many times as you do pushback so it's a, a dynamic array just like our inventory array uh, but yeah we have that and the input output I'll explain as we go so let's go ahead here and create a new character let's see void create new character so what is this going to do we're just going to take everything from init game and we're going to shove this in here so we have a name it's going to ask for a name name and we're going to get the name we're going to do a std sin dot ignore here because because we've been using sin here so the new line character after this is going to stay in the stream we want to clear that before we put it into name so it's not going to not going to create any problems for us in get line and then you have the initialize as well what we do is we do dot active character initialize now which one is the active character when you create a new character well it's the last one in the array as well uh, right because you push back now it's going to be the last character in the whole array that is our new character and assuming you make a new character you want to actually choose that character so active equals dot size and minus one because the size of the array is going to be one past the last character so it's going to be out of bounds so when you do minus one you actually go back uh, one step uh, to the actual character that is stored there and not the uh, not the not said because the size might be five but the last character is at index four because we go from zero to four that's five elements right but so the number five will be wrong for us so we'll just do that and we initialize that character and when that's initialized this should work yeah there we go that works now we have a new character and that should be it now right here in six we'll say um, create new character easy and what we'll do is we'll actually save whoops what was that save here as well because we'll create a new one let's do this just define these as well while we're at it go ahead and do this just like that bam now we have a bunch of new functions we can play around with right so saving character is going to be really simple first I want to try out this new create new character function so create new character and make sure that works active character characters this should work yeah that there we go uh, let's call it character one nope let's see why that didn't work because I think I did this because I did not push back a character my bad uh, because remember, this is going to start empty when we create it here. We need to actually create a character in here. Characters dot push back a just empty character. There we go. There we go. Now I just want to show you the constructor for character. Here we go. So what it does is, oh, here we go. Just uh, nullifies everything. And then initialize takes care of all these calculations and stuff like that so I'm gonna have to add some calculations for I think this is what we did last episode I was talking about it that I have to change this so XP max and stuff is dependent on vitality and all that stuff now as we go loading and saving will be dependent on items and all that stuff and buffs and bonuses for your stats and we'll have to take care of that but for now we'll just please we'll just be pleased with this uh, so in game save Oh, this should work. I hope. Yes, that worked. So, character number one. No, that did not work, actually. Sin.ignore. Character with the name. Why did that not work? Why did that not work? Let's see. 
Was it because it was a number? Oh, it takes away the first one. That's interesting. Um, the, so, uh, let's see. Dot name. Characters name. Same name. So it ignores this for some reason. Just do send that nor here. Oh, wait, let's just try it without it. This should work. This is weird. Uh, so now it will have the name. And next time we do it, it's going to be a problem. So we will ignore that. After it, I think. Well, we'll just work with this. We'll try what happens. Uh, every time we create a new character, we'll push back. Let's see. So we'll call it search one, five. See if the name worked? Yes. Then we'll go ahead and create a new character. And now it didn't work. So the problem is right here. Ignore. I think we need to do this. Since when we call the function first time, there isn't anything in the stream. It's going to take away the first letter. But afterwards, after the choice, we might have to we have to do that. Uh, so we'll just see ignore right here. I think that should be fine. Yep, that should be fine. So let's try that. One, the name is, yep, and then we'll say six. Search 2, that worked. 5, our active character is now search 2. Bam! Easy. Easy, guys, easy. And this is 7 is going to be save characters. Uh, bam! I don't think we need any input in here, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go ahead and do a number 8 as well for load characters. Load characters. Uh, so, yeah, alright, this, this works. We're fine. We can create as many characters as you want. And uh, now we need a way to save them into a file. And how we do that is we create a... Remember we included if stream or f stream the file input output library. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a off stream uh, which is also part of std off stream uh, out out file. And we're going to open a file by default called uh, or actually file name because we had a uh, we had a variable right here for our file name. So we can just use this everywhere globally in game. Uh, see if our file is open if the file succeeded to open now the thing is that when you try to save something onto a file if that file doesn't exist C++ is going to create that file for you in the system and it's going to name it uh, whatever name you give in here uh, but if it already exists it's going to open it and it's going to rewrite everything on it now there are flags for that you can you can say append which makes it actually not rewrite everything but but at the end of it keep writing um, but what we want is this whole rewrite overwrite stuff. So we're just going to keep it like this normal. It's going to open the file. It's going to go through all our characters. Dot size. It's like that. And it's going to use this characters function, get a string, and just shove everything in there. So out. Out. It's going to print the whole line. So the whole line is going to be character or out file characters at the position X, no at the position i dot get a string bam we're good it's going to save everything and then we want to close out file close come on there we go um this is going to save everything all our characters with a new line at the end. 
So as soon as one character is written, it's going to make a new line and uh, do the next character. So there we go. Now we've got save character and create new character. Let's just try that out. Let's try that out. So we have search one. And then we'll make, we'll just see so that worked. Yep. We'll make a new character. We'll call it there's two. We'll just print that out. Yep. And we'll save all these characters. So now that should have saved everything in our file, which is here, characters. Yep, search one, search two. Bam, got two characters. And you can keep adding this, and it will just keep doing uh, whatever you need. Now to load them is a little more complex. I want to do that in the next video, since you have to actually convert stuff and take the whole line, and then just divide it up uh, into pieces and then shove that into your character and these this you're gonna have to change a bunch this and the character function uh, get a string you're gonna have to change every time you add something new into character so we're gonna not play around with that too much we're gonna have to or we're gonna have to keep it updated all the time as we add stuff in here but yeah guys that's it for this time I hope that helped a little bit in understanding vector and the input output if you got any questions just go ahead and Ask me, mail me, whatever you need to do. Uh, work hard, and I'll see you in the next episode.